Hi, today I'm here to share some tips and tricks for the system train screenshots. So, number one, screenshots of areas. You can press Meta Shift Print Screen to select an area, then a new notification will pop up with the screenshot that you've just selected, and you can actually drag and drop that screenshot onto whatever you're doing, that is maybe LibreOffice or Telegram, just drag and drop it, and that's it. It also works for downloaded file. If you download a file from Firefox and then you want to place it in a folder, just drag and drop from the notification to that folder, and that's it. Super fast, super productive. You can also select the icon near the file or the screenshot for additional uh, items, such as opening the containing folder or sharing it over the internet with Imgur and similar stuff. For the volume applet, you can actually scroll on the volume icon to change the volume and you can middle click it to mute and unmute quickly. You can also drag and drop application to audio input and outputs to select them. Super productive. Middle click also toggles microphone. So if you want to turn off your microphone, just use middle click on the icon. You can also use the scroll wheel on the battery applet to change the brightness of the screen. Middle click also works for the notification applet and it will turn on do not disturb for as long as you want. Then there's the media controller. Again, middle click will stop and play the audio. So if you're, you have some video going on in Firefox and you want to stop it, just go to the media player middle click on the system tray, it will stop. And you can also use the wheel to change the volume. When you are in the pop-up of the media controller, and I have to write this, you can use space or K to toggle play and pause. You can use P to, the, to go to the previous track and to go to the next track and S to stop. You can use left or J to seek backward, right or L to seek forward, ohm and hand to seek to start and hand. You can also use zero to nine to seek, to seek from 0% uh, to 90% of the track line. So lots of stuff, lots of keyboard stuff, very productive. And by the way, you can also connect the media controller to your KDE Connect, so you can see what's playing in your phone, but also what you're playing on the computer will just stop as soon as you receive a phone call. Then as far as the task manager goes, middle click is actually customizable. You can choose whatever, whatever you want, whereas the wheel will switch from all apps. Then if you have a mouse that supports forward and backward keys, you can use them both in the media applet and in task manager with uh, applications that are playing audio to switch to the next and previous tracks. So if you don't have one, go buy a mouse with previous and next uh, button support because that sounds super cool and I don't have it. You can also use middle click to past pretty much anywhere and if you do it on the desktop it will create a sticky note what you've written and if you didn't do it in purpose you can uh, select that note by holding left key and then delete it and it will do it right away no confirmation dialog because we know that you accidentally messed that up sometimes finally last one if you have an image on firefox you can actually click and drop it on your desktop to add it on a frame, so as a widget, or also to set it as wallpaper. So no need to download it, open the wallpaper dialog, add the image and then apply it. Just drag and drop, use as wallpaper, and that's it. So thank you for following this video, don't remember Hi, today I'm here to share some trip. Hi, today I'm here to share some tips and tricks for the system tray. So, let's get for it. A new pop uh, da, 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 da.